wife that was destroyed by the Shapiro's malice. It's a 1984 runway edition military consisted of the Eiffel Tower upside down in black $975 never bought a woman a pair of high heels before that pair of high heels was my wife's first official pair of high heels ever bought for her in her entire life she got to wear it twice or Chenny Shapiro specifically stole the high heels for her own unjust enrichment I think those should be replaced immediately anyhow Upon returning to the U.S. Senate, we are keeping the case. practiced here along with various other concerns pruning trees repairing the roof watching and feeding wildlife and so on of course other artists live on these wooded hillsides too and so do other people and the truth of the matter is that some of us and to some of us this kind of environment is not only valuable but absolutely necessary a degree of seclusion life of growing things awareness that we are part of nature so, you know we're there. That's on our gate. Day one. That's what we post. Paul Landaker's wife wrote that. Look at her names. Dan. She died. 60, 1960. Cancer. Supposedly due to the materials and food weight being constructed right through her backyard. Second sign on our fence. Same time frame. And landscaping inspired from John McLaren in Golden Gate Park. Natural areas, native plants, garden design underway with LA Yard in collaboration with the LADWP new LA Yard program. Lam landscape inspired by John McLaren of Golden Gate Park, natural areas. I guess we were rewriting it a couple times. California native plant garden design underway in collaboration with LADWP. The new LA Yard. <laughs> yeah, it's cool. So, mock ups. <laughs> then, uh, LA Sanitation 311 has been called. Pick up date 10 2 2019. Please excuse this unsightly inconvenience. 311 bulky item pickup schedule for Wednesday, October 2nd. Proper respects to adjoining property will be delivered on October 3rd. This will be removed. Improvements underway. Thank you for your patience. Bulky item pickup scheduled 311 for October 4th. Proper respects to adjoining properties will be delivered October 5th, 2019. Thank you for your patience. Improvements underway. This will be removed. STCB04360 and so on. So then what happens in this insolvency is the Shapiro's claim they have no money. But this is the amount of purchase they make during the period of time in which they have no money. During Melansky's case and David Glazier, they make complicated rescissions and the decision by the judge was you must buy the houses back. There's only one of two books so far. You must 
buy your house back because your construction deficit and fraud is so egregious that you owe the owner the right to rescind his purchase 100%. So Glacier gets that, right? Shapiro's con a new hearing time date to fuck up a requirement to meet a certain time frame. October 17th, December 17th, December 7th. Gets confused, all flip flop, fucks him over. But, Glacier is supposed to house you bought back. Jay's supposed to buy it, he buys it, which, why? Richard does the contract. Yes. What is corrected? Who knows? They sell it again for a lot more money. They could reappraise it higher. But Jenny says she doesn't have the money to buy it back in the middle because she can't get another lender to help her. Well, she gets Lanceman to help her four, five, six, seven more times. And that's what we have in this book. The process of her buying my house, the four houses before it, the several houses after. Jenny Shapiro was never insolvent. Jenny Shapiro claimed bankruptcy with her husband, Richard, in resourceful construction, resourceful development. Were they bankrupt? No, they were trying to hide the assets from bankruptcy trustee. They were also trying to use a technique where bankruptcy means you don't have to give up your primary residence in a loss. So they swapped their real homes address with 1958 Avon, the one they refinance our house, on all the same loan numbers, right? Because they're trying to get away with Airbnb 